In this video, we're going to talk about using buttons as a way for students to navigate through your Canvas course. Um, this has some big benefits, maybe for younger learners or for students who need a simplified version of navigating through Canvas as this was created for secondary and higher level learning. So all these items here can be quite confusing. Um, if you are a younger learner. So we're going to talk a little bit about creating buttons and linking them in Canvas so that students don't really need to use these menus over here on the left. Um, to get started, I'm going to go into my pages, and I've actually created three pages here already. I've got my Learn page, my Home page, and About My Teacher. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my Home page. And what we're going to end up doing is setting this Home page as a home page, but it's going to be kind of a dynamic home page that's going to change daily. So students can show up every single day to one page in Canvas, click the same button, and it'll take them to their different lessons um, without them needing to do any sort of navigation. They just know I go to this spot and I click this button and I get the lesson for the day. So to get started, I'm going to edit the home page and I'm going to include the buttons that I've created previously in Google Drive. So if you want to check that out, I've linked the uh, Google Drawing video in the description below so you can see all about uh, creating images in Google Drawing. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on the image button here and say upload image. And there's two ways to do it. You can click on this image to browse your computer for the image. I'm just going to take the shortcut and drag my image into this space and hit save. Excuse me, submit. <laughs> now that I've done that, I'm going to do one more. So once again, go up here to the upload image drag out this button and hit submit. So I've got my two buttons inside of my Canvas page here. And now what I'm going to do is link them to different pages in Canvas. So remember previously we looked at the pages section and saw the learn page. So I'm going to click on the learn button. I'm going to come up here to these two chains that's going to say links. And you can obviously choose external link which will take them to a site outside of Canvas. But the bottom one here is what we're looking for. It's course links. So if I click on that and go to pages, you'll notice that in this section here, there's three pages that we had created and I pointed out earlier. I'm going to choose learn. And now this button is going to be linked to that learn canvas page. And I'm going to do the same here for home. So we're going to go over to my chains, go to course links, pages, and we're going to choose home page. Now, what's the benefit of this is this is my home page. So this is the page that students will see every time they log in. So I'm going to go ahead and save this real quick. So if I were a student and I were to log in, um, all I would do is see these two buttons and maybe some information from my teacher. Maybe there's a video on this page. And I'm going to click Learn. And now it's going to take me to the Learn page. So what you could do is just change this Learn page. Or you can make several Learn pages. It could be called Learn 1, Learn 2. Uh, or structure it however your curriculum is structured. Um, and then every single day when a student comes in, they're going to go to that home page, and that's the first thing they're going to see. And they'll know just to click the blue Learn button here, and it'll take them right to that Learn page. Now one thing we want to do, though, is we're going to set this up as the home page uh, so that the student won't have to find the home page page every time they log in. Uh, so in order to do that, if you see right now, if I go back to home, it's set up for the modules view, which is not what we want. Um, over here, you'll notice that we have all these options, and front page is grayed out right now. So what we're going to do is turn that on and allow it to be the home page. So to do so, we're going to go into Pages. Inside of Pages, you remember we made that home page button, and we're going to click this Publish button right here. So now that this is turned on and live, and students will be able to see it, uh, next to it, these three dots will allow us to use as front page. All right, So we're going to click on that, and you'll see it says front page here. So now we know that it's been published, and we've made it a front page. And you can obviously remove this and go to other front pages in the future if you don't like it or need to make changes. So now that we've created all of this, what we're going to do is go back to my home, go to Choose Home Page, and we're going to select that. And it gives you kind of a grayed out item here about which page you have selected. So you can change that and make adjustments on this one too. So now if I hit save, it's going to change it so that this home page is what my students will see every time they log in. And there's some other ways you can kind of clean up this panel here on the left and other things like that. But now the big benefit is if I'll just refresh as if a student were loading your course for the first time. So let's say a student loads your course for the first time. This is the space that they'll see every single time they log in. And if they click on the Learn button, 
it will take them to that learning page that you've set up for the day. So I hope this has been helpful. Um, there's lots of other great videos in the playlist to learn more about Canvas, setting up your navigation bar, inserting videos, things like that. Um, so please check those out if you have questions. And as always, um, I hope to see you in the next video.